Welcome to Black Onyx, where we hope to keep you better informed about investing. We're chatting with Paul Duncan from Catalyst Fund Managers. He runs an alternative hedge fund with a listed property focus. Paul, thank you very much for joining us today. Andrew, thank you very much for having us and for giving us this opportunity. Paul, tell us a bit about yourself and how you got into investing. Andrew, my background, I guess, starts uh, with my undergrad at, at, at UCT. I did a Bachelor of Business Science, and, and after completing that, I joined Broll Property Group, who are probably the, the largest and most preeminent manager of direct real estate in the country. Um, and I guess it's there where I, I cut my teeth and developed a, an understanding and passion for real estate as an asset class. Um, I worked throughout the value chain in commercial real estate space in, while, my, while I was at Brawl and, and that, uh, my experience involved everything from developments to leasing, sales, purchases on behalf of either third parties or clients. Um, and I was really in the trenches there. You know, I, I got to really understand uh, real estate, industrial, retail and office assets and, and how they really operate and, and what is required to make uh, real estate as an asset class work over the long term. After that, um, I went to, the, to London and I spent about four years working in both financial services and investment banking. Um, I guess like most South Africans do in their, their mid-twenties, uh, I felt a natural drawback to, to South Africa after that time. Um, I returned uh, in about 2002 and completed an MBA um, at the Graduate School of Business in Cape Town. Uh, and briefly, or well, shortly after that, I was, I was introduced to um, Andre Stadler who was the founder of Catalyst Fund Managers, um, a business that, that, that he had started two years prior, which was a listed real estate fund manager. Um, and for me, that, that uh, was a perfect fit for my long-term career aspirations in that it married my two real passions being real estate and financial markets. Um, and that was now approximately 15, 14, 15 years ago, um, and that's where I am today. Tell us about Catalyst Fund Managers and how the business got started and, and where you are today. The genesis of, of Catalyst Fund Managers really starts with uh, the vision that, that Andre Stadler had um, in the early 2000s, which was to create a listed real estate fund manager. Uh, at that time, uh, listed real estate as, as an asset class, particularly in South Africa, was, was really in its infancy. Um, it, it, it wasn't well recognized as a direct allocation uh, for, for many investors, either retail investors or, or pension funds. Um, and Andre had spent many years working in the direct real estate environment himself. Uh, at Old Mutual, he was involved with some of the largest retail developments in the country, including Gateway, Menland Shopping Center. Uh, but similar to me, I guess his real passion was always in investments. And he had this dream to create a listed real estate fund manager. Um, he approached uh, ironically, uh, the CEO of Broll Property Group, Jonathan Broll, with his idea. And uh, Jonathan provided the platform for him to create Catalyst Fund Managers. Um, and that was the start of the business. Uh, initially, we used to run, we, we initially started by, by running um, segregated portfolios for some of the, your larger South African pension funds and asset allocators who were looking for a dedicated real estate solution as part of their overall diversified portfolios. Uh, that was probably the, took us through the first five, six years of the business and, and in around about 2006, six seven, we introduced a global real estate offering um, applying exactly the same investment philosophy and process to which we applied to, to um, valuing local listed real estate. Um, and that was where our second sort of pillar got added to, to the, the Catalyst Fund Management business, the first being local portfolios, the, the second pillar being global portfolios. And at approximately the same time, we also launched our alternative fund management business, which gave us the, the flexibility to run a fund outside of the traditional building block uh, constraints. Um, and those are the three ultimate pillars of our business. Um, and um, today we are uh, a business of approximately 12 investment professionals as well as a, a, um, a, a significant middle office um, environment. 